Hello everyone, welcome to the science stuff. Today, we are going to be learning about magnets and its different types. So what exactly is a magnet? Let's find out. A magnet is a material or an object that produces a magnetic field. It has a north and a south pole and it attracts certain materials like iron, nickel and cobalt. It sets itself at a specific direction when freely suspended either towards a nearby magnet or in the north-south direction of the earth. Now, let's look at the different types of magnets. Magnets can be classified into two categories. The first one is based on their occurrence and the second one is based on their property of magnetism. First, let's look at the categories based on their occurrence. Under the first category, the first type is natural magnets. They are magnets which are naturally found in nature. These magnets are not preferred as they come in irregular shapes and you cannot cut them into your desired size like you cannot shape them into a bar magnet. Their magnetic property is also weak in nature. Some examples are lodestone, magnetite, ferrite and columbite. Artificial magnets. They are the magnets that are man-made and not found naturally. These magnets are generally made of ferromagnetic substances like iron, nickel and cobalt. Artificial magnets can be made into the desired shapes and sizes, hence they are very convenient. They are also extremely powerful. Now these magnets do not necessarily have to be made of iron, nickel and cobalt. They can also be made of their alloys. Now. Let's look at different types of artificial magnets. First, let's look at a bar magnet. A bar magnet is a permanent magnet in a cuboidal or a cylindrical shape. It has a north and a south pole and even if you break a bar magnet from the middle, both the pieces will still have a north and south pole. And this stays the same no matter how many pieces you break it into. So for example, if I cut this bar magnet in half, then this will still remain the north pole and this part will become the south pole and this will be the north pole and this will be the south pole. Some bar magnets are used as stirrers in laboratories for magnetic experiments. When bar magnets are freely strung, the north of the bar magnet points close to the geographic north of the earth. Now, let's look at horseshoe magnets. A horseshoe magnet is a permanent magnet in an inverted U shape. These magnets derive their name from the fact that they are shaped like horseshoes. In these magnets, the north and the south face each other. The poles of a horseshoe magnet are pointing in the same direction and this creates a strong magnetic field. Hence, horseshoe magnets are stronger than bar magnets and this is because of their shape and their strong magnetic field. Because of this, horseshoe magnets are used to lift heavy objects. Now, Let's look at magnetic needles. A magnetic needle is a slender bar made of steel that is tapered from the center towards the pointed ends and is mounted on a sharp stand at its center. It can freely rotate on a horizontal plane and is commonly used for testing the polarity of a magnet. Now, magnetic polarity refers to the orientation of these poles in space. 
A magnetic needle is commonly used for magnetic compasses. Now what is a magnetic compass? A magnetic compass is a small magnetic needle mounted on a sharp pivot and encased in an aluminium or brass metal box as seen here. It also has a glass top. It is also called a tracing compass and it is commonly used for finding the geographic north and south of the earth. It is also used for finding the direction of a magnetic field at a place. Now, let's look at ring and disc magnets. Ring magnets are thin flat circular magnets where the thickness does not exceed the diameter and there is a hole through the center. Ring magnets are commonly used when a mechanical attachment method is needed to secure the magnet. Here you can see some pictures of ring magnets. Now let's look at disc magnets. Disc magnets are the most common shaped magnet used in today's major markets and industries due to their versatility and economic cost. Now, let's look at the second category of magnets under the different types of magnets, which is based on their property of magnetism. Under this, first we have temporary magnets. They are those materials that retain their magnetic properties for a short period of time. These materials possess the magnetic characteristics when they are under the influence of a powerful magnetic field or electric current. Under the influence of the external magnetic field, the atomic particles of these materials rearrange to impart the property of magnetism. As soon as mag the magnetic field is removed, the atomic particles return to the original position and lose their magnetic property. Examples are paper clips, electromagnets and iron particles and more. So first let's look at paper clips. Here we can see that there is a horseshoe magnet and attached to it is one paper nail and attached to it is another paper nail and so on. So if we remove this magnet then all of these paper nails are going to fall down and they are no longer going to be attracted to each other. Hence they are a type of temporary magnets. Here let's look at the electromagnet. If we cut off the electricity then this iron nail will also lose its property of magnetism. Hence it is also a type of temporary magnet. Now, let's look at permanent magnets. Permanent magnets are those materials that retain their property of magnetism over a long period of time or nearly permanently. They retain this magnetic field even after removing the source of the external magnetic field. Most permanent magnets are artificial magnets. Examples are Bar magnets, horseshoe magnets, which are made of alnico, which is an alloy of aluminium, nickel and cobalt, rare earth magnets, ceramic or ferrite magnets, and lodestone and magnetite, which are some examples of the natural permanent magnets. Now, we have come towards the end of this topic, but before we finish, let's summarize whatever we have learned today. So first, we saw what a magnet is and we defined it. Then we split it into two parts and first we looked at the different types of magnets based on its occurrence. Under this, we saw temporary magnets and permanent magnets. Then the second category of magnets was based on the property of magnetism. Under this, we saw natural magnets and artificial magnets. Under artificial magnets, we saw bar magnets, horseshoe magnets, 
then the magnetic needle which made the magnetic compass and the ring and disc magnets. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe if you learned something new and comment down below on the topic you would like me to do next. And you're watching The Science Stuff.